And so we, you and I had talked, um, we bought the, <clears throat> the package. And since then, um, we turned our month around and had uh, our best month ever. Mm -hmm. um, and there's not another product out there that I've tried. And I've tried other training programs. It just overall for me, investing in this training has been just a total no brainer. Like not doing it sooner. Like I wish I could have done this for my team a month before I opened the office, right? The last two weeks of May, just on home uh, premium alone, was 30% of what we did the entire year. Whoa, in one so month? So that's, that's in two weeks. It's, it's just, it's turned our team into like a selling machine. Uh, hey, Sean, thanks so much for jumping on this call with me. Um, walk me through what your experience has been like since you joined the program and you started going through a sales training uh, and what has that done for your agency? When I was kind of reviewing the 90 minute video that you said, it helped me kind of understand, hey, there's a lot of gaps that, you know, I'm even kind of understanding a little bit more through these videos that you've presented. Um, and then how can that be translated, even that 90 minute video into something that my team can take a look at and enhance? Um, and so we, you and I had talked, um, we bought the, <clears throat> the package and since then, um, we turned our month around and had uh, our best month ever. Uh, one of our producers did uh, $35,000 just in the last two weeks alone in premium. Um, oh. And we didn't, and when we went back and looked at the numbers for the end of the month, there wasn't any, any anomalies that stood out. Hey, we had one customer that was, you know, $10,000 or something like that. Um, it was, you know, we were able to apply a lot of the, the, uh, the resistance to the objections that you had put into the videos, um, especially the upfront objections on the hook side, mm -hmm. uh, because I think that was the thing that was getting us a little bit more. Um, we're still working on how we're implementing the training. And part of it is we're doing it piece by piece each week so that people can learn it, absorb it, live it, breathe it. But we've been doing um, much better on our, our close ratio for calls. So we've had a lot more. I can't give you the exact number, but I can tell you that we're closing 60% of, you know, certain lead sources on the mailers. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're closing a vast majority of what we're getting on live transfers uh, on a first call, which wasn't happening before either. Um, I would say our first call closed, everybody would get excited when it happened because it was maybe like one or two here and there. And I wouldn't even say one or two a month, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and now if you just take an example of yesterday, mailer comes, we, uh, someone calls in from a mailer, close, first call, auto home, right? Um, you know, the thing that, resonated with the staff that we have is something that, you know, you talked about to, to one of my team members was, you know, even professional athletes practice every single day. Right. And that's the thing that I think got them because there were some people that were doing, you know, 25, 28,000 in premium a month. And they were like, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm the, I'm, I'm the guy, right. You can't, can't, you know, I'm the most valuable thing to the agency. And then they took your training, understood how to take over some of the objections, especially in the, in the hook. And they were able to turn that 25, 28 within two weeks to 35,000, right? Some agents who will watch this video, they're going to hear 35,000 in premium in just the last two weeks. And they'll think, well, we do that already. But what a lot of people need to keep in mind is that different states, different cities sure. uh, have different premium values. So in, in Texas, 35,000 in premium may not mean anything, but the area that you're from, that's a lot of items. So, um, like so I will say this, I'll say this. We did the last two weeks of May just on home, uh, premium alone, or not sorry, premium, but items was 30% of what we did the entire year. Whoa. In one so month, that's, you did that's in two weeks. What? Okay. That's, two weeks. That's in those last two weeks, right? Um, oh. to overcoming those objections and doing that. So 30% of what we sold on home, we we're, we're an auto shop, right? We're doing really well in auto. Mm -hmm. We're not a, we're not a dealership, but we, we just, our autos, we, we get down, right? We got that. It was getting over the objection because it's hard. It's harder for us to pivot from auto to home than it is from home to auto. And so now what we're seeing is, Hey, that pivot's happening a lot more because of people taking that training. So we did 30% more homes than we did the entire year. Looking fo forward and to the coming months, what's your target for 2020? Uh, what do you want your regular month to look like? Each team member that works on sales exclusively, um, it has a 20 household goal. So, okay. uh, 10 is the minimum to just break their, 
uh, barrier for uh, commission and then 20 households is their goal um, which before I would say 20 households was a really good month for us um, 20 households now should be the standard and that's the way we're looking at it going forward um, and then we're also incorporating a lot of the strategies that we've seen into how to pivot onto our, our life insurance sales right so yeah the the sky's the limit especially for the team and they're really it's, I think it's another motivational factor too right um, cause it starts to build on itself and starts to snowball and the people, the positivity has been amazing. Right. And then using that as a tool for advertising, especially when we're talking about getting new recruits, um, and new recruits that are, you know, even licensed agents that are coming over saying, wow, we've never been able to see something like that. Or we've never seen an agency do something like that. Talking to the sales leader saying, I have agencies that only, that don't even do 15,000 in an entire month, the entire agency. Right. So hearing that from them and getting excited um, to kind of understand, you know, what's the difference, what you're, what are you being implemented to make the change? Um, and the one thing that we could really point to was the training that we did um, and how we implemented it. And it's been really successful for us. What would you tell agents who are considering buying the, the training course uh, or on the fence of whether or not to purchase it or not? What would you tell those agents? It's important for me. And I think it would be important for most agencies is to say, Hey, we need to invest in our training, right? Because that's going to turn around and immediately have an impact on our ROI. And, and what, what is that return going to be? That return is going to be within, you know, 30 days, right? It's been within two weeks for us, right? So if you say, Hey, you know, I need to invest in this training or I'm you know, shy about investing in this training, take a look at what other product are you going to buy? that's going to turn your profit, turn your money into a, a, a solid investment in the first 30 days, 90 days, 60 days, 180 days, it just doesn't happen. Right. And so the important thing to me is to say, you know, it, for me, investing in this was investing in my team and they appreciated that. And then they got excited about it and they said, Hey, yeah, let's do more. Let's learn more about this. Let's, let's practice this. Right. Um, and then that ROI came, you know, within the first two weeks, three weeks. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and there's not another product out there that I've tried and I've tried other training programs some of them are a little bit shy on the material. Some are a little bit shy. They're way too expensive on the material and it's just overwhelming for the team. Some of them you have to do every single day. If you don't do it every day, it's not going to be there. These are things that you can customize fit for your team. And it's really important to understand that that return on investment is going to happen much faster than, you know, increasing your cost per lead or trying to decrease your cost per lead. Right. Then um, it just overall for me, investing in this training has, been just a total no-brainer like not doing it sooner like i wish i could have done this for my team a month before i opened the office right mm -hmm. um and i think i would have been farther ahead like i i just wish i had done it sooner that's the only thing i could say right yeah. i wish i'd done it six months ago because it it's just it's turned our team into like a selling machine right and they've been really good they're and they're and it's not something that's disingenuous right it's, it's a very authentic approach to helping people that are you know, not maybe understanding the, the process of insurance or the terminology in insurance, but then not overwhelming them as well, right?